Hello everyone and welcome to Metal Detecting NoCo. My name is Michael and today I'm out at a really old farmhouse. Dates back to the late 1800s, late 1870s according to the landowner. Now there's several houses on the property here so I'm going to go around and uh, see what I can find. So uh, as always let's go find some treasure. Alright, ooh, this has been here a long time. Got a 22 casing just literally falling apart in my hands. Put that in the bag. See what else we can find. All right, so I found some nails, lots of nails, some 22 casings, but uh, I think I just found my first coin. Let's see what we got here. It's, it's a weedy. It's a weedy. All right, let me clean this up. I'll come. All right, I cleaned it up. Looks like 1929. That's pretty cool. Front's in okay condition. The back is in really good condition. You can see the ears. All right. Let's see what else we can find. All right. Found a what I think is another coin. Oh, it's an Indian head. It's an Indian head penny. 1902. Wow. This house was probably already 40, 40 years old at that point. 1902. Let's look at the back. Oh, that's in nice condition. Wow. Didn't even have to clean off the back. I hope you can see this okay. So that is nice. Yeah, back is really nice. Cool. All right. All right. Well, I just got a really good signal here in a, at the middle of the yard, away from the house. Lots of nails up close to the house, and I can't wait to see what this is because it looks silver. I see two. Let's come around this way so you can see it. I think I see two pieces of silver. There's one right there. And there's one right there. Let's try this one first. Oh, yeah. We got 1949 rosy dime. Let's get a better shot on that. Here's our first piece of silver out of this yard. Really good condition. And then piece number two is an oh, it's a mercury. We got a mercury. Wow. All right. Let's see if there's anything else in the hole. Where's my pin pointer? There it is. Oh, I think we got a good coin spill here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. We got, what else do we have here? This is like, uh, I always say, let's go find treasure. Well, I think we found some treasure today. This, this little Roosevelt dime has seen better days. I can't even see the the date on it looks like 49 but we got more uh, coins to to pull out here so <laughs> let's keep going i see another one oh we got a bunch of them we got a bunch of them what do we have here we've got another silver dime that says 1940. all right it looks like we have a nickel here very corroded Hey, it's a buffalo nickel. Cool. Okay, as you probably know, if you know anything about buffalo nickels, we got to clean this up if we're going to get a date on it. So uh, let me keep checking. I'm going to I'm going to hold on to the nickel for a second. Let's check the rest of our hole here. Oh, we have more. Wow, this is quite the uh, coin spill. There we go. There's another one, and it's another mark. <laughs> oh this is great this is great the homeowner is going to be so happy i don't know how much he cares about a uh, old pocket change but uh i'm sure excited 1944 on this merc man look at that
Okay. I keep wanting to uh, clean up one of these coins here, but we gotta keep checking the plug. Are we done? Is there more down there? Oh, I think that's it. All right. All right, got another coin here. I haven't looked too closely at it, but I want to show you the imprint first. Let's see if we can guess what this is just by the imprint. That's eh, too hard to tell. I can tell it's a quarter. The question is how old. Now, it wasn't very deep, and it doesn't look too silvery. It's an eagle back. 72. All right. I'll take it. Quarter's a quarter. Okay, and we're back. And I'm glad I checked because it was a dime. Looks like a clad dime. 19. 67. Missed a silver mark. By what, three years? Yeah. All right. All right. Quarter and a dime. Did I hit the cycle? Yes. I hit the cycle. Cool. All right, well, I'm trying not to dig iron, but this is kind of cool. Looks like a little pipe. And it's definitely a uh, square, square nail. Seen better days. But it looks pretty good for its age, don't, don't you think? All right, this was a really jumpy one. Sounded really dirty, but I thought, you know, something about it tells me we should dig it. Let's see what that is. Oh, it's a Jefferson. 1945. With the uh, D over the Monticello. Cool. I forget what uh, percentage silver these are. I don't think they're 90% like the dimes and the quarters, but they got a good chunk of, chunk of silver in them. Not too bad. Looking good, Thomas. All right. All right, it's time to play everyone's favorite game, nickel or pull tab. Let's see. All right. Welcome back to uh, nickel or pull tab. Oh, it's a nickel. Well, yay. I always like when it's a nickel. Let's see, what year? I don't think this is one's, this one's not very old. 64. But you know what? I'll take it. So just in case I forgot to mention this earlier, the uh, homeowner said his great-grandparents built this place and uh, great-grandma liked to bury things. And then the brother drove by and said the same thing. He said, uh, great-grandma liked to bury things. So here's to finding a can of buried coins or savings bonds or whatever great grandma liked to bury in the ground for now i'm happy all right i'm guessing dime modern dime or modern quarter let's see what we got here modern dime modern dime all right keep going all right well house number one was a lot of fun i think it's time to hit house number two um i believe he said it was 1870s but i can't be sure but uh look at the size of that tree i don't know if you can tell how massive that tree is i think i'm going to start there first so uh let's go find some more treasure All right, so I found something interesting. I don't even know what that is. You know what it looks like. It's a suspender clasp. Very fancy. I think it has some writing on it. R M R M C. Huh. I don't know if that's a make or somebody's initials. If you guys know more about this, I'm going to do some research when I get home, but 
Very cool. Hi. He found, huh? He's getting rich. No. <laughs> no, but this is not, interesting. Not off of sus suspender clasps, but uh, patent date, 1871. Huh. Look at that cute little hooky thingy. I know. Wow, there's a number up there too. 1871. Yeah. Yeah, do you remember do you know do you remember the date on this one? 1870? Oh, earlier than that, 62. 1862. Okay, so not we, that house, but the not, original house. Oh, was there <laughs> was our house here before that? Just a log cabin. Oh, okay. Okay, so 1862 was the original site. So it gets better. It says March patent, March 7th. 1871. So oh. they get very specific. And then down there, it has initials RMC. RMC. Hmm. Okay, well, it's been, a, it's been a minute since I had anything worth filming, but I think. Oh, what in the world is that? What in the world is that? That is not what I was expecting. <laughs> it looks like it might be a ring. Looks like a brooch at first, and yet yeah, very well could have been a ring. This part here definitely could have opened up big enough to be, I think it was costume jewelry. What do you think? Have to put that back together. But yeah, my guess would be maybe kids costume jewelry. It doesn't look like anything precious, very soft metal. Cool. I found a ring. This counts, right? <laughs> All right, I've got a mystery to solve, folks. I'm not sure what this is, but I have a feeling somebody will know what in the world this is. It looks like it's been hammered all along here. Could be a heel or toe plate to a shoe. I don't know. It was really deep, so it's pretty old, whatever it is. I don't see any writing on it or markings. Yeah, definitely been hammered. It was tacked down like the tip of a shoe. That would be my guess. But you guys be the judge. You guys know more about this than I do. And once I find out, I'll post it on uh, next week's episode. Cool. Feels, it looks like brass. Huh. This, I think, looks like it would be to a compact, but once again, I don't know. This looks like something from a cosmetics box of some sort, but it's got two holes punched in it. So who knows? I'll get that cleaned up when I get home. Let me clean this up a little bit and see if I can see anything. All right, I give up. I got nothing, folks. My guess is something to do with cosmetics, but I don't know why there would be two holes. Three, four, five holes total. I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments. All right, detector says... Well, it doesn't say anything. It's just a detector. <laughs> but it does show there's something in the plug. In addition to our mystery item. All right, I found it. There's a very old piece of iron. It's like a nail. All right, mystery solved. All right, not sure what this is. Definitely some scrap. Hmm, no idea. Another mystery indeed. Doesn't look terribly old. Definitely been hit with the lawnmower a few times. Metal's pretty soft. Huh. All right. All right, so the homeowner was just telling me this is the spot where you would walk from the house out to the outhouse. He said when he was little, they had an outhouse. So I started checking around and I found this. It looks like it would have been a bell. I'm gonna tap it real quick. Get that dirt out. Yeah, like maybe a bicycle bell. 
Let's see if I can get it to ring. Oh, it kind of sounds like a bell. It's hard to get it to ring, but this thing's at least 50 years old, probably more than that. Who knows? Cool. Well, the backyard is proving uh, to be a little more fruitful than the front, at least of this older home. I don't know what this is, but it's old. <laughs> kind of looks like a mold. It's in the shape of a seashell. I don't want to open it up. It looks like it would have sat on the flat bottom there. Who knows? I guess it's aluminum, so. All right, cool. Let's see what we got in the plug here. Oh, there we go. Buckle. Old belt buckle. This may have been the homeowner's buckle. Cool. All right. Can't wait to show him all this stuff. Maybe he could help me identify some of this stuff. All right. I don't know if you can see this or not, but my coin is right into the shovel. And it is a wheat penny. Yay. Pretty good condition on the back. Front has seen better days. Let's see if we can get a date on this. 1951. Huh. I have to find out when the uh, homeowner was born. That might mean something to him. All right. That was some dumb luck with the penny landing right on the shovel. Let's see if I can do that again. Oh, look, and there's the imprint right there. You can see where the penny sat there for quite a while. Okay, I'm just going to take a break. Come look at the root cellar. He said it was all concrete floors, which is a shame. There's a uh, frog carcass. He said this is the oldest st structure on the property. Very cool. There's an old, a uh, couple old electric insulators in there. The green glass ones. Very cool. All right, back to work. All right, it sounded like a pull tab. Oh, it's not a coin, it's a button. It's a button with a flower on it. You know, That'd be a metal button. All it's, right. a, it's a metal button. All right, darling. All right, well, this one's not too terribly deep, so I don't think it's anything ancient. No, it's a clad 1980 quarter. All right. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is a wrap. It was a great day out here at this farm in Colorado. We've got uh, some junk pennies two wheat pennies, Indian head, uh, silver nickel, metal button there, got our uh, buffalo nickel, maybe we can clean that up later and get some close-ups, still can't get the date on that, the date is completely worn off, junk nickel, three clad dimes, five, five silver dimes, made my day, we've got our costume jewelry from I don't know, I'm just guessing 20s, 1920s, 30s. We've got our 1871 suspender clasp. Found a uh, belt buckle. We've got uh, this mystery cup here. Another mystery item. Not very much trash. I, I'm impressed. I managed to avoid the uh, usual amount of nails that I usually dig out. Um, again, I think this is to a some sort of cosmetics, but I will let you guys be the judge. Let me know in the comments what you think that is. Our bicycle bell. Are we missing anything here? I think that's it for now. So thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next week. 
Hey everyone, so if you enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed making it, please take a moment to click that like button. It really helps me out a lot. If you really like what you saw, please click the subscribe button. And if you'd like to be notified each time I upload a new video, click the notification bell. Thanks for watching.